Now that we have pushed our local Git repo to a remote repo on GitHub, next, we're ready to work on those requirements. Let's do a little project planning. First, we're going to work on the artifact management. Second, we're going to work on the requirements in the wizard management. Last, we will wrap up the project by finishing the requirements in the user management. How do we keep track of the development progress? You can simply use a spreadsheet or just a pencil and paper to create a to-do list. When you finish one requirement, you can cross it off from the to-do list. GitHub provides an awesome tool called GitHub Issues to help developers plan and track the work progress. As you can see, this is my GitHub repo, the repo we just created. We are now under the Code tab. On the right side of this tab, there is the Issues. So let's click it. What are issues? Issues are used to track to-dos, bugs, feature requests, and more. As issues are created, they will appear here in a searchable and filterable list. Let's create the first issue. By the way, you can create issues at different granularity levels. In this project, we're not going to create an issue for each CRUD user story listed in the mind map since they're too simple and we can easily do them together. So our first issue will be artifact CRUD. Let's create a new issue. Artifact CRUD. You can add some comments here. Usually we can copy and paste the user stories. So in this case, I'm going to copy the five user stories and paste them here. Also, I'm going to select all of them and put them in a task list. Then you can assign it to a developer on your team. Well, since I'm the only person working on this project, I'm going to assign it to myself. You can also label your issue. So for example, here, we're going to make it an enhancement because that's a new feature or request. OK, everything looks good. Let's submit this new issue. As you can see, this issue has five detailed tasks. You can select and deselect the checkboxes to mark the tasks as complete or incomplete. Of course, if you check all the five checkboxes, that means this issue is done. Well, when you work on user story, if you find this user story is a little complex or involved, feel free to create a dedicated issue for it. Okay, in this case, convert this task to a dedicated issue because issue is more important than a task. Issue has tasks and a task belongs to an issue. Next, let's create the second issue. And it's called wizard crud. Let me copy the first five user stories here. I'm going to assign it to myself and give it a label. Okay, looks good. Submit new issue. This is issue number two. If a user story like this one is a little involved, feel free to create a dedicated issue for this single user story. So here, 
Let's create the third issue. Artifact assignment. Copy, paste. Assign to myself. Give it a label. Submit new issue. This is issue number three. Next, let's create a new issue for user crowd. So here I select the first five because the first five are user crowd. I'm going to assign it to myself. Give it a label. Looks good. Submit new issue. The fifth issue will be just this one. User authentication and authorization. Assign to myself, enhancement. Because authentication and authorization is a pretty complex task. That's why here we create a dedicated issue for it. It takes a long time to build authentication and authorization. Okay, everything looks good. Submit new issue. That's number five. Okay, so let's click here. In summary, we created five open issues that wait to be closed. When we finish one issue, we will create a pull request or PR and link that pull request to the corresponding issue. When the pull request is merged to the main branch, the issue will be automatically closed.